Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to install Docker container on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before I start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Docker and its use cases. So Docker is container based software that allow multiple application to run inside the containers. This is virtualized platform that is used for developers and other users to feel freer compatibility issues with an operating system. In Docker, various containers can communicate with each other and share the same kernel. So you can run the different application in multiple containers. Docker can be installed on almost on all major distributions such as Windows, RHEL based operating system, Debian based operating systems and including Mac OS. So here I will tell you how you can install Docker on Reddit uh, Enterprise Linux using the command line tool. So let's start the lab session. <coughs> Sorry. but. Um, uh, and, and we'll see how it is very useful for the Linux administrator day to day work. For the demonstration purpose, I'm using RHEL 9.0 virtual machine. As you can see, this is my Linux terminal and let me show you the OS release version of this machine first. So let's start the lab session. So if I go with the cat, okay, give me one sec, cat etc Reddit release. See, currently I'm working on RHEL 9 machine. So let's start with the first step, which is add Docker repository in Linux. So for adding Docker repository in Linux operating system, I will go yum config manager command and add repo URL. I have read down the URL link in my text file. Let me open this and on another, on another tab. So let me check the file notes.txt. Okay. Sorry. It's notes.txt. Yeah. Here's the command and here's the entire link of my repository let me copy from here okay so i can run the simple this command okay yum config manager hyphen hyphen add hyphen repo https download.docker.com slash linux and to us docker hyphen c dot repo so i have write down this in my text file and at the end of this video i will share this url in the description for your references okay so i press enter yeah, you can see that adding repo file from this one, this location. So once the Docker repository is added to your RHL distribution, what you can do, you can install the Docker without downloading its package manually, which is much more time consuming. Okay. Now move to the next step, which is removing conflicting packages. Before start the Docker installation, you need to remove conflict packages such as podman and builder packages from your operating system. These packages conflict with the Docker during the installation and prevent it from being installation installed on RHEL 8 or RHEL 9 distributions. So let me check whether the podman and builder are available or not. So for this, we can run the simple command rpm query and the and the package name. So if I go with this command, look at that rpm query podman and the builder. Yep, you can see that by default it's available so it's already installed so i will use the dnf remove command to remove this package so what i will do i will go over dnf remove and the same package whatever that is podman and builder so are you sure to continue yes i am okay let it be removed first so <clears throat> after that we will move to the next step which will be is install docker and enable its services so just wait for a couple of minutes let it be complete first Yeah, it's removed. So uh, installation of Docker package and uh, again, I'm going with the DNF command one more time. The command is yum install and the package name and the package is in my case, that is Docker. So go with the yum DNF install docker hyphen C, docker hyphen C, CLI and container.io. Press enter and are you sure to continue? Say yes. So it will take some time, couple of minutes and it will install the Docker packages with its dependency. Once the installation of Docker is completed, we can enable the Docker services and start it on uh, our system by running systemctl command, which is very common in uh, Linux operating system. So just wait for a couple of minutes. Let it be complete first. So this would be the command of your starting the services. Are you sure to continue? Say yes. Okay running scripts stalling yep it's going on three 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन ओके ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीट taking little bit of time to just wait for a couple of minutes let it be complete first okay verification done and see it's completed now install and enable the services so what i will do i will run the command system ctl enable docker services hyphen hyphen now so creating symbolic link okay now once the installation of docker is completed we can enable the docker services and start it on your system by running this simple command system ctl now docker service is successfully started and uh, it will be automatically start when the system will boots up after enable the docker services we can view the running status to verify the docker is work, working properly on your system by running the simple command system ctl again with uh, status this time status and docker services see it's active running and it's enabled also okay now we can check the install docker version and information using docker command so i get the command now docker docker and say i can run the few command like version so once i press enter version see the version is there so you can see the currently version is api version is 1.4 and version is 20.20.10.22 okay similarly i can run the command docker info command it tell about the little bit information about my docker see currently there is a no image or you can see the available version is there right so what i will do uh, move to the final step which is uh, check my docker test so to test the docker pull the hello world package on your system by running docker command so the command is docker pull and hello world so i run the command from here say docker pull hello world so using default tag which is the latest one and uh, okay start it yep done successfully you can see the above output shows the docker has downloaded the hello world image successfully once the hello world image is downloaded we can verify the download image using docker image command so if i go with docker image docker images images see here's the image and it's latest it's tag with downloaded so now uh, run this image by executing docker run command so we can run the same command with this time with docker run so i can remove pull and say run and docker run hello world and yep hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly so this up the output verifies that the docker is working properly on our system so after installing the docker on your system you can build containerized application using docker and some other helpful tools so guys that's all about this video finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to me through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye